Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing an overview and swatch video of the brand new Viseart Single Eyeshadows. I will also be giving you some of my recommendations and showing you how I got this look. So if you want to learn about the brand new Viseart Single Eyeshadows, then just keep watching. I'm just going to say up front right now, I sat down to do a natural everyday look. And this happened. I just, I wanted to play. I felt so inspired. Of course, to create this look today, I used the new Viseart Single Eyeshadow. So let me just explain what these are. Muse Beauty Pro, they carry a lot of Viseart products as well as a lot of other brands, but Muse Beauty Pro is my go-to for buying Viseart eyeshadows. And a couple weeks ago, they announced that they will be coming out with individual shadows for Viseart. Now, the premise of Viseart eyeshadows is that they all can just pop out and you can mix and match as you want. And so when you purchased a palette, you actually couldn't purchase a single eyeshadow if you ran out. So Muse Beauty Pro took some of the most popular and requested eyeshadow shades and are now selling them in singles, which I think is freaking awesome. Their regular 15 pound palettes are about $80. So the fact that you can buy one single shadow if you run out is great, especially because I know a lot of makeup artists, they love Vizio Art shadows. I personally do. I find them very functional with the packaging and I also just really enjoy the quality. I knew I had to get in on this. So Muse Beauty Pro released 50 refillable shade pans. So when you get them, they are going to come in a plastic case and then you're just going to get the metal pan. These eyeshadows are taken from the Grande Pro, Slim Pro, and Theory palettes. And all of them are the same size, so they are going to fit into the regular size Slim Pro palettes. Each individual shade is going to retail for $12 each, and each empty palette is going to retail for $15 each. Now, why I love these palettes is because they have a clear top, and I just love being able to see the colors right away. They are quite sturdy, and the magnet is very, very strong. So these shadows are not coming out. So before I get into the individual shades that are available, I did quickly want to talk about the value and what are the advantages and disadvantages of picking up some of these shadows. So a regular 12 pan eyeshadow palette from Viseart is going to cost you $80. And if you're going to fill the eyeshadow pan with all of their eyeshadows, it is going to cost you $159. So customizing a palette is about twice the price of just buying a pre-made palette. But here's the deal. I feel as though when you purchase a pre-made palette, you don't actually really reach for all of the colors in the palette. So it may be better value for you to get a palette that you know you are going to use every single color. So so you'll get more of your money's worth. But in the grand scheme of things, yes, it is a much better value to just go ahead and purchase their pre-made palettes rather than your customized palettes. But here to me is where it makes sense to purchase these. Number one, of course, if you bought the regular pre-made palettes and you ran out of a shade, if it's one of the 50 that are available online, only $12 to pick up that shade, which I think is great because a lot of times individual eyeshadows are extremely pricey for what they are. They will range from $18 to $24 just for a single eyeshadow. This is $12. I don't know why I was looking online. I cannot find the exact amount of product used online, but typically I do not run out of eyeshadows so $12 for an individual eyeshadow is a great price to me and here's the thing nobody said you had to purchase 12 eyeshadows to fill up the palettes you can purchase one or two colors that are unique to your collection and you're only spending like $24 if you are just picking up a few colors so make sure you watch my swatches and if there are any colors that stand out to you nobody said you need to buy 12 if you want to pick up one or two it is a great opportunity for you to try Viseart or to add unique colors to your collection without completely breaking the bank. And also, if you have their little theory palettes, which hold six eyeshadows in it, you can mix and match and just buy six or something. And you're, of course, not limited to using the Vizzy Art palette. You can also just go ahead and put it in a Z palette or something, which, again, in the long run, is going to save you money. Is buying the single shadows for everybody? No, but I definitely do find value in them selling single eyeshadows. So it just depends on your needs and the type of person you are. 
Personally, I am working on growing my Viseart collection and eventually owning all of their eyeshadow palettes, hopefully. So for me, I will not be purchasing single shadows unless I run out. But for somebody who doesn't want to do that, this is a great advantage for you. That being said, I do want to disclose to you guys that Muse Beauty Pro did send along to me 12 individual shadows and this palette. My girl Celeste chose them, and Celeste, you did a great job. This is such a cute palette. I love the colors that you sent along. I've spent so much money on Viseart shadows alone anyway, so this doesn't affect anything for me as a Viseart lover. This is just an exciting opportunity for me because I feel like I can refill shadows that I run out of. And quickly, just to run over the quality of the shadows, if you were curious, they are phenomenal. My favorite formulas from them are their metallic chrome shades. I used them at all over my eye today, and you will see in the tutorial how well it blended out. But yeah, I love their mattes, and I love that in this range, you get a very large variation in color. There's just brights and neons and neutrals and duochromes, just so many finishes, textures, colors, everything for every skin tone. So I do think that they picked a great range. Now, they did release 50 colors. I do not own all 50 colors, so unfortunately I cannot swatch all 50 for you. However, I do own 32, which is well over half. Regardless, I still hope that this video is helpful for you guys. So I'm about to jump into the swatches and a couple of little mini palettes that I curated for you guys. So yeah, let's just get into it. So here on my arm, I have all of the matte shades swatched for you guys. Now, Muse Beauty Pro actually has 30 shades available online for mattes. I only own 15, so these are half of the mattes that are available, but I do want to show you what I do have. So the first one that we have is right here. As you can see, it's not the most visible. This is from the Cool Mattes palette. This is Pan 2 in the shade Sand. This is a beautiful transition shade, especially for those of you fair people, and if you're a more medium skin tone, this is beautiful all over the lid just to neutralize it. I think if you are fair, you will love this as a transition shade. Altogether, there are four shades available from the Cool Mattes palette. This is just the only one that I have. Next up is the only shade that is available from the Dark Mattes palette. This is pan number 12 in the shade Olive, and I think this is such a great color to have in your collection. Everybody needs a good olive toned eyeshadow when you want to go a little bit more green, or this looks very flattering with brown looks as well. The next few are from the Editorial Brights palette. So this first one here is from Pan 2 and this is the shade Lime. This is a beautiful neon green. A lot of people are afraid to go neon, so I think if you are looking for a neon green shade, this is a really good affordable way to pick up a nice quality neon green shade. This is Pan 3 in the shade Clover. Again, a very unique shade. It's very hard to find a green that is like this clover leprechaun -y green, so I think this is a great option if you've been looking for a green like this. This this is pan 5. This is pink. This is obviously a very, very neon pink. I only own one other pink like this in my collection, so if you are looking for a hot neon pink, here you have it. This is pan 8 in the shade Periwinkle. This is, again, another very unique blue shade, very bright, so if you like those ocean blue eyes, I think you would really like that. The shade is very popular for the summer. Then we have pan 10. This is raspberry, just a beautiful raspberry shade. Pan 12. This is Azure. This is a little bit more navy compared to Periwinkle, but I do really like this shade, and it's not too overpowering, and it blends well. This is from the Neutral Mattes. This is Pan 5 in the shade Chocolate. Just a really good deep chocolatey brown that all of you need in your palettes for every day, so here's that chocolate brown. I do not own the Neutral Mattes palette, but there are four shades all together from this palette. From the Warm Mattes palette, I have Pan 2, the shade Croissant. This is a really beautiful transition shade with a little bit of mustard into it. I think a lot of you will love this shade, so I definitely would recommend this one to you guys. This is another one from the Warm Mattes. This is Pan 12 Brick, um, that beautiful burgundy brick color. For those of you who like really warm looks, I think you will really like this. Altogether, there are eight shades from the Warm Mattes palettes, but I only own two. From the Grande Pro 1, we have Cotton Candy. This is Pan 20. A beautiful pink, but it's like a subtle pink. This is beautiful for brides. If they want something a little bit more pink or it's a light pink wedding, I will use this shade. This is Pan number 23, a brighter plum. It's still not a super bright purple, but it's a really great base for many different purple looks. You guys know how I love to add a base color and then a shimmery color over top. This is a great base color to any 
tiny purple look. This is Pan 25 Blanc White. So for that white you're looking for in your collection, this is a good white to go with. Then we have Pan 29, which is Cobalt Blue. This I like a little bit more than this one. I just think it has a little bit more deep naviness. Is that a word? I don't know. But it has a little bit more deep naviness to it, and it really whitens up the eyes. So these are 15 of the 30 mattes that are available online right now. So here on my arm, I have two metallics. So they're metallic finish. They only have three online. The other one is from the Theory 1 palette and the other two are from the Grande Pro 2 palette. What I can say about this formula is it is very buttery smooth. So this first one from the Grande Pro 2 palette is Pan 10 and this is the shade Earth. For all of you brown bronzy lovers, you are going to love this. I absolutely love this shade for a brown smoky eye. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. And this is Pan 28. This is the shade Zeus. Again, purple lovers, you will love this. So now we are going into the metallic foils. So I own five of the six that they will be selling individually. So last round, I went over the metallic. So these are the metallic foils. So they're even more buttery and reflective. So I really love this formula, even a little bit more than the metallics. And I love the metallics. So four of these are from the Grande Pro two. This is Pan 9 in Bullion. Uh, this is a really beautiful golden shade. They actually have a tutorial using this. When you use it wet with the Esam Pro Mixing Medium, the result is absolutely insane. Then we have Pan 15. This is Alien. Again, I use this. I believe I used this over a black base and the result was so amazing. So check out my Viseart Grande Pro 2 tutorial because this over a black was everything. This is the shade Mercury. This is from Pan 21. Very beautiful silver shade. Then we have Calypso. This is Pan 27. Purple lovers, you will love this. It's such a beautiful shade in a purple look. And this is from the Theory 2 palette. This is Pan 4 and Fiery. A very beautiful copper shade. And this really truly feels like just plain butter. It's phenomenal. And I know a lot of you bronzy, warm, summery kind of people, you will love this shade. So these again are the metallic foils. So the formula here is the Crystalline Highlighters. There's only two, and these are both from the Grande Pro 2. I really love this formula. It's quite reflective with just little tiny speckles of glitter to them, which give them something special on the eye. All of them are very light, and they're really made to highlight and brighten up the eye. So this one is Pan 1, again, from the Grande Pro 2 and Stardust. So this is more of a champagne-y highlighter. And then we have Starlight, which is from Pan 7. And this has a little bit more golden vibes to it. So you have both of the really great undertones. And again, these are just going to be gorgeous in or corner colors or all over the eyes. These just really brighten up the eyes. So next up, we have the Duochrome formula from Viseart. Now, what I like about Viseart's Duochrome formula is that they aren't too Duochrome. They're just enough so that you can see the Duochrome both sides of it in any light. So you're not only going to see one color in one light and one color in another. You see both of them in the same light so you can tell they're duochrome because I've dealt with duochromes where they were too strong. These are just perfect. So all four of these are from the Grande Pro 2 palette. So this one is Sunlight. It's a yellow with a green blue shift to it. Really gorgeous. Uh, this one's quite unique. And then we have Moon, which is a white with almost a lilac blue duochrome to it. Really pretty. Then we have the Space Dust. By the way, this is Pan 17, Pan 19, and this is Pan 23 Space Dust, which this is a quite a popular color right now. It is in other palettes, but it's that purple with blue green duochromes. It reminds me, I think, of Club is what it's called from MAC, but really pretty all over the eye. And then we have Pan 29, which is Interstellar. This has probably the least duochrome of all of these. It has slight blue duochrome to it, but ever so slight. It, all, it has a mixture of purple duochrome similar to the base shade and then a little hints of blue, uh, but it's just so gorgeous. I love their duochrome shades over matte shades, so I will take colors from the Grande Pro 1 and put these over top, and it really is a spectacular look. Okay, so these are the final four shades that I have for you guys, uh, three different finishes. So I made a silly and forgot to show you one of the mattes that I had. This is from the Theory 5 palette in the shade Terracotta. Pretty much a staple for 
any of you warm lovers. So sorry, I forgot to show you that. This next one is the satin finish. There are three different satin finish shades, two of which are from Paris Nudes. One is from Theory 5. I own neither of those palettes, but I do own this shade Pan 2 in Champs. Ulysses or LECs. Not completely sure how to pronounce that. It's a light shade with a lot of gold reflex to it. Really beautiful for a neutral look with a little bit of gold on the lid. I think you'll really like this. And these last two are the chromatic metallics. So these have a little bit more of chunky glitter in them. So I would recommend using them with a glitter glue. So these both are from the Grande Pro 2 palette. This one is Pan 8 in Eclipse. It's a almost dark gray shade with some silver glitters in it. Personally, I don't really love the shade. This isn't a type of shade that I go for, but if you are into those really deep smoky eyes, I think this will be beautiful with that glitter showing through. This one's nice. It personally isn't my cup of tea. And then we have Poseidon right here, which is pan number 20. And this almost has a duochrome to it. It's a really dark purple base with a lot of glitters in it. Again, like I said, it's quite glittery. Definitely use a glitter glue underneath. But these are two really cool like galactic colors. So if you're into those kind of looks, you will like these. So this is just to give you a little bit of palette inspiration. So I put some colors together that I thought would look good together. This is the shade Sand, Croissant, Terracotta, Champs, Olive, Starlight, Fiery, Earth, Chocolate, Bouillon, Blanc White, and Brick. So somebody who likes a little bit more neutral tones, I feel like this is a really good combo for you if you wanted some. Okay, so this one isn't a 12 pan, but I just really wanted to keep it cool toned and blue. So I just thought this would be fun to give you some inspiration. So this is Blanc White, Moon, Sand, Periwinkle, Poseidon, Mercury, Eclipse, Cobalt Blue, and Azure. So this one's going to be kind of a pinky purpley blue kind of palette. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of some different kind of colors to create a little bit more interest to the look, but also have my main, you know, purples going on over here. So I have Calypso, which is here, Interstellar, then we have Mercury. I always think silver looks nice in a purple palette. Then we have, I don't know how to pronounce this, Bougainvillea. This is from Grande Pro 2 pan number 23. <laughs> Zeus, Cotton Candy, Poseidon, Stardust, and Raspberry. So this one's definitely my favorite of the ones that I have put together. So I hope you guys found those swatches helpful, and I hope you liked my little palette curations that I made. But anyways, let's just head into how I got this look, because all of these shadows on my eyes are available for you guys to pick up. So as stated in the beginning of this video, I had started off with the idea that I was going to do a neutral, everyday look, and then I was just really looking at this palette, and I can't help but want to play with all of these crazy colors and honestly I just really wanted to show you how great these shadows blend so I started off with the shade sand which is from the cool matte shade and I applied that all over as my transition color as you can see it's very light and close to my skin tone it's a beautiful transition color for cool toned eyeshadow looks so I really really recommend this eyeshadow especially if you're into those cool tone looks I think you will really really like this okay so my blue lovers I went into the shade periwinkle which is from the Editorial Brights palette, and it is this crazy cotton candy blue, and I started off by blending that into my crease, and then I used my finger, and I applied that all over to my lid, and oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. It blended like a dream, and colors like these, they don't blend that easily, so I am highly impressed with how well this eyeshadow works, so if you're into blues, or you're looking for a good blue, this is a really good one, and I could have just left the look at that for just like a cool matte blue look that would have been awesome but I did want to show you one of the cool duochrome kind of finishes so I took the shade Poseidon which is from the Grande Pro 2 and I actually mixed that in with the Esam Pro Mixing Medium to really give it that glitter and shimmer to the lid and then I took a synthetic haired flat shader brush and I mixed those two together and I put it all over my eyelid for this beautiful sparkly just really monochromatic blue eye look. Now this shade does contain a lot of glitters so there was fallout but what's awesome about these glitters is that they don't really stick to the, your face so you can just wipe them away. I didn't have anything underneath to stop the powder. My concealer was set so there was a powder so it wasn't going to stick to the concealer but just wiping it away with a loose brush just 
got it away good. So this shadow is also super beautiful. If you're really into glittery shades, I think you will really like this, especially if you layer this on top of a matte color. It is spectacular. Uh, this time around, I chose to do a matte blue, but this would look so cool over a purple or a black or something. As my inner corner highlight, I went in with the shade Stardust, which is from the Grande Pro 2. This color has a very subtle shimmer glimmer to it that is incorporated into the formula, and I just think it's so beautiful. Uh, this look is a bit overpowering for this one. I think this look probably required something a little bit more bam, but for every day, this is a beautiful inner corner highlight. If you are curious about anything else that I'm wearing, of course, it's going to be in the description box. But yeah, I just wanted to show you a look that I created using some of the shadows that you can pick up. And yes, $160 to create your own palette. But for this look, I only used four shades, so altogether, that's $48, which isn't bad because these eyeshadows are such good quality. So I mean, yeah, overall, that's really all I have to say about these eyeshadows. I just wanted to inform you guys and make a little bit of a helpful guide for you all that I feel like could help you decide what shades you want to pick up. Like I said, this is such a great opportunity for you to try out Vizzy Art eyeshadows and to really customize and pick colors that you are going to actually use. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what colors you will be picking up. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a great day.